There may come a time in your life when you feel just absolutely and completely burned out. Perhaps you're up 2 a.m. in the morning eating ice cream straight out of the bucket. Perhaps you can't just bring yourself to stop watching the TV. You just don't have the energy for anything anymore. Nothing feels good enough. Nothing feels great. Everything sucks. Everything is just pure awful. I've had several times in my life when I just had to take some time to zoom out and to look at my life and how I was living it. I had to recognize that I was not being very kind to myself, that I was pushing myself too hard and that it was making me unhealthy, sad and depressed as a person. And so I had to learn to be a little bit kinder to myself. And that's also what I want to teach you today. And in those situations, it's important, especially important to consider how you got there. Because what I want you to recognize is that what brought you to this point was often a long time of self-neglect. You've spent way too long caring way too much about the needs of other people. You've been way too focused on being strong. You've been way too focused on pushing your limits and you've neglected yourself. You've ignored your own boundaries. You stopped listening to yourself. You rejected your own feelings. You have pushed yourself to the point of nothingness to the point where you have nothing left to give nothing more to offer the world so what do you do what do you do in those situations where you just feel empty one question you might find yourself asking yourself is what can i do a lot of time when we go into this mode this goblin mode as they call it when we are just this burnt out there's not a lot we can do so what if instead of feeling guilty and feeling bad about yourself for not caring about yourself for not taking care of yourself not for not doing your hair properly, for not cooking the greatest dinner in the world, for not like just being this perfect model representative citizen of society, perfect in every regard. Why don't you just focus on the bare minimum necessities, the most important things, the smallest things that you can do in order to regain your energy and recuperate. Often when we get to the point of absolute burnout, there is not a lot left to be done in the first place. All you can do is just to rest, to recover, to get better. We often associate these times with sickness. It can be that you've been working really hard and suddenly you get this fever that you can't fight off anymore. It can be that you've uh, just developed this massive cold out of nowhere. It can be that you get just really sick for a while. And a lot of time sickness there is kind of a warning signal. It's the body saying, no, you've done enough. I'm going to put us into emergency shutdown mode for the time being until you can learn to take care of yourself. Because that's the message here. You got to learn to take care of yourself. You got to learn to listen to yourself better. You got to learn to take your own needs into account. I know we live in a society where we've been taught that if you push yourself hard enough, you can achieve just about anything. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not entirely true. I'd say instead of trying to push yourself to the absolute brim, what I like to say is take your own personal situation and resources into account. Look at your personal level of finances, look at your current workplace, look at your current relationships and recognize that, yeah, these are the bare resources that I've got available at the moment. And this is what I have to make do with to make good decisions, to get myself forward in life. So. I gotta work from my own personal situation and circumstance. I can't blindly compare myself to the best and strongest and most fascinating people in the world anymore. I gotta focus on myself, my own situation, where I am in life. And I've gotta start making smart decisions, decisions based on what I need and based on where I am in life and what I need to learn and figure out for myself. That means perhaps for you, it's not about getting enough money to afford a house. It's Figuring out how to save money or to focus on paying the rent for your apartment. Perhaps for you, making a smart decision is not uh, becoming promoted to a manager position at your workplace. Perhaps for you, the best priority right now is to make sure that you find a fulfilling and positive relationship or friendships. Perhaps for you, it's not about earning more money or getting a higher salary right now. Perhaps right now, it's about you learning to take time for yourself, to go on walks, to take care, to breathe, to de-stress and to give yourself what you need. What I recommend to every single person is to stop looking at yourself as a diamond to be polished to perfection. 
Rather, think of yourself as a flower, a flower that needs nourishment, water, and sunlight. Think of how to give yourself what you need in order to stay energized, happy, and healthy. Find ways to recharge and recuperate, positive ways, easy ways. If you can learn to recognize the warning signals when stress gets too much and when you're on the brink of burning out, find and recognize early on that, hey, it's starting to become too much. I'm going to need to start to scale down, slow down, and rest. If you got this far in the video, I'd really like and appreciate you if you took the time to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.